Because I've gotten several questions concerning uh, section 13.1, I'm going to do this example from question 3 in a quick and dirty video to see if I can help out. <clears throat> Feel free to pause the video at this stage so we can read the setup because I'm going to continue on from here. The first thing you need to do is build the observed frequency. The easiest way to do that is in a <clears throat> pivot table. So I'm going to put my cursor at the start of the data, go to insert, pivot table. It's going to highlight where I wanted it to, new worksheet, click OK. <clears throat> we want to know what's going on with the diameter of the pipes. So I'm going to drag those down. In the case of the values, I'm going to click the arrow, value field setting, change it to count because I want to count the number of pipes at that size. Now this is listing all the possible values and their count. We want to group them, pick a place anywhere among the data, right click, <coughs> select group. I'm going to round down to 1.8, so I'm starting below my values. I'm going to round up to 2.2, .2, so I'm going above my values and point one is a perfect designation because that matches what's in the problem. So there you have it, an instant frequency table. So cop copy those and paste the values. This will end up being our observed frequency. The real problem comes in creating the expected frequency. The upper values here were 1.92, 2.1, and over 2.1. I'm going to build a cumulative probability section based on the normal distribution, so it equals norm.dist. X is this value here, comma mean, hit F4. So it stays on the mean, comma, click standard deviation, F4. So it stays on standard deviation, comma, true, and close. Now, this will get me the area under the curve from 1.9 down forever. So I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to double click this and delete the last one because we'll come to that later. The individual probability is what we're actually after. In the case of the table in the homework, it says under 1.9, so we're good to go because this is already under 1.9. The next one is from 1.9 to 2.0, so we need to say it equals that probability minus all of the prior, prior probability. Hit enter and copy that down one more time. Now for the last category of 2.1 and up, the grand total of all the probabilities is 1. I'm going to subtract out the sum of the probabilities above it. This gets me the individual probabilities. Now, we need the total. Actually, I already have the total up here, so now we can build the expected frequency. That's going to equal the probability times the total. I'll hit F4 again to make sure I am grabbing just that one value double click in the bottom corner and help it go one more. There's my expected frequency. Now to build the chi-square we're going to want to do observed minus expected quantity squared divided by expected so that's equal to parentheses observed minus expected Close parentheses raised to the second power, divided by expected, hit enter, bring that down, and then we have the fact that our chi-square test statistic is going to equal the sum of those values. So there is the chi-square value. So let's see what trouble I can get into putting these values in. So 1.9 is 4, 13, 8, 5. Check answer. Yay! Test statistic to three decimals, 0.367. Yay! P value. Easiest way to do P value 
is to do equals chi square dot test. What Excel calls actual is what we call observed, comma, <coughs> expected is called expected in both, close parentheses, enter, and to three decimal places, that's point seven one three. There you go. And I will leave you to decide on what the conclusion should be.